Man. I'm telling you, Floyd was hot. Hot. <laughs> um, T.I. used to always find ways to, to, to go out the champ. He would always try to find some angle because he mad tiny want to hang out with champ. I'm like, you would think that a grown man at this point in his life, career, whatever you want to call it, would find a way to move on. You know what I mean? But, you know, it's just the way it is. So, anyhow, Floyd has never been the type to bag down from dealing with people such as T.I. T.I. goes out his way and makes this disc record called Suckin' Nick. And you guys remember that. And yeah, shouts out to all the people who have donated to the page from the Streamlab. I see y'all. <laughs> yes, we will do all of these wonderful things that you've asked. Straight up. Now, Floyd Mayweather has made it clear that he don't want Tiny. They're friends. They never had anything going on between it, the two. And if you don't want them hanging out, the best thing you need to do is tell your wife. And if the wife says, nah, I'm still going to hang out with him because I like him. He cool with me. So your problem is with the wife. You know what I'm saying? And not Floyd. So my boy Jay Biz just moved to the West Coast. Shouts out to him. Derek Marie, we see you nothing but facts. That's right. Uh, my man Tony251. Uh, Trainee. Talking about uh, Moesha and Fredro. We might get into that. Lance Howard. Trigger. And Ashley Moore. How you doing, princess? Okay. All right. She want to know about the left eye some more. Trigger love how I'll be exposing these fake activists and entertainers. Okay, well, don't worry. Stay tuned. <laughs> um, T.I., Floyd called him out and said to T.I., because T.I. going to make a dog on this record on him. He came out and said, these same celebrities are proud, deadbeat fathers and unfaithful husbands, using a platform to rally the troops against luxury brands, yet have been the prime contributors of influencing the destruction of our people by the way of their musical content and imagery. Should we boycott their music and record labels as well? Or do we learn to communicate and bring solutions to our problems we're facing as a whole? That is the question. There was never a response back from T.I. Right? Well, as T.I. tries to say, you still a sucker even though you got money. And as Floyd tried to discuss again, breaking down the song. Now, I don't know about Tip being a deadbeat father, but like I say, he knows a little bit more about the subject than many of us would because he's friends with Tiny. He was each actually teaching Tiny how to box a little bit. So she knows how to throw them things a little bit too. She could throw them hands. 
Now, when we look at um, his life, I never seen Tip as a deadbeat father. Never saw him as that. You know what I'm saying? So when I said, well, man, you know, what does he mean? How is he be a deadbeat father? He got a TV show based on his kids. Well, T.I. had about, what, three kids outside of Tiny? So we don't know what happened. We really don't know what happened in that situation. Sorry about that. But the situations that, uh, I know he got a kid, too, with a Miss Nico. Some R&B singer or something. He got a daughter with her, too. He loved them R&B singers, though. So he got two boys, I think, with her. And so maybe that's what he's talking about with the uh, dead be dead thing. So, you know, I don't know about that. But Floyd's message extended past that. And in the song, it was trying to say, oh, you you value money over, over morals and all of these different things they were trying to insinuate when they was talking about Floyd. So Floyd just said, as a retired, wealthy, and successful man that has promoted a drug and alcohol-free lifestyle, yes, I am a connoisseur of fine quality and top-of-the-line brands. However, unlike many of these new money celebrities, I never forget where I come from. Decades before Dapper Dan became a designer for Gucci, I supported his work and creativity consistently and never stopped. Not many of you can say that. Most of you took your money into the same high-end boutiques and didn't think twice about leaving our brother and legendary designer behind until Gucci put their stamp on his back. That's where you hypocritical outrage should be bottom line if you know better do better start with your own homes and the content that your mass produce and sell to your very own take a look at how you're representing your people first before you asking someone else to do so and that's a very true statement there and I felt that because people do a lot of different things fake advocacy and you have to look at tip tip your house ain't in order it wasn't at the time so the fact that you would felt free to take a swipe at Floyd and he decided to swing back. Like, how dare you? So that's what that meant, sweetie. Because you you wanted to know what was going on there between Floyd and and Tip with the uh, the Gucci thing. People boycotted Gucci for two weeks, man. They were right back wearing Gucci. Some people didn't even stop. That whole thing just died off and tapered off. You see what I'm saying? So when somebody who's not a leader trying to portray like they are, these are the type of things you have. Dumb stuff taking place. Let's shut them down. Why you ain't shutting down everything else? People are like, look, what we doing, Tim? But we still wearing Gucci and we not wearing Gucci. You got people walking around like, are we boycotting and we not boycotting. What we doing here? <laughs> it's silly. If people want to support it, let them support it. I don't care. If they, if somebody want to buy that kind of stuff and wear it in the privacy of their own home, I don't care. But they're going to wear it at their own risk. 
Now they waited around some brothers and some brothers knocked their teeth out. Then hey, they know what they came with a consequence. It should have came with a warning sticker. Wear that around me, <laughs> teeth fly. <laughs> you gonna be at the dentistry. Like, I don't know what I did. <laughs> so, like I said, I don't care what people want to spend on their money. Like, look, they they in blackface. They don't want to look stupid. They making them dumb sounds look stupid. They can, hey, they trying to make fun of us. I mean, man, they ain't making fun of me. They making fun of their damn self. Screw them down, people. And what they think. People don't rule you. You got to let stop giving people dominion over you. That's the problem. Most people out there letting people dictate how they feel for the whole day. I'm depressed. What you depressed for? I'm just not feeling well. I ain't feeling happy. Well, better make yourself happy. If you don't want to, don't be dependent on me. I ain't finna juggle in front of you and try to make you happy. If you ain't, if you depressed and all this stuff around here, and things to be done and things to do, then I don't hey, I don't know what to say for you. I'll be, why you depressed? Can you do the laundry? <laughs> it's still going to need to be done when you feeling happy. Believe me, you might feel happy when you get some joy in, in yourself and then you realize you've already done the laundry. <laughs> that joy going to hit you. You're going to be, hey, and I've already done the laundry. The laundry. Now I can go out and party. So please do the laundry. <laughs> <laughs> everybody else thanks for listening man um like i said my cash app is car seat over if you want to support the page love peace and hair grease i'm out